And in Chicago, I, uh, as I mentioned, I was taking these songwriting classes at the Old Town School of Folk Music. And um, before the Old Town School of Folk Music moved over to Wilson Street, it used to be on Armitage, right off of the, uh, the Brown Line L. And there was kind of a rite of passage at the Old Town School of Folk Music. The, uh, the songwriting teacher was Ralph Covert from the Bad Examples. Thank you. The Ravenswood Line. Now known as the Brown Line. Anyway, let me get back to my story here. So, uh, so Ralph Covert, the songwriting teacher, was, uh, he was a great guy, really encouraging, helped us all kind of work our craft. And then, um, you know, once a session, he would do this. You know, he, he, he'd hang out with the students after class, and we'd all go out, and, um, and, we, and, and we'd stand outside the Old Town School building, and, and Ralph would wait for the brown line to kind of come approaching out of his peripheral vision, and he'd pull, pull aside a, uh, you know, a, a first-term songwriting student, and he'd say, I'm going to tell you the secret to songwriting. Here's what you got to do. You start with, and then he'd just move his lips, and as the train would come by, and you couldn't hear, you didn't, I mean, he could have been describing how Stairway to Heaven was written, but you'd never know it, because that, that was, but every time, there would be some student, including me, who'd fall for it. And then he'd finish, you'd be like, oh, the, the universe is, the songwriting gods are channeling themselves through me. I don't know that I could ever do that again. And then we'd go home depressed and try and have to follow some songwriting prompt for the next week. So, um, Steve and I were talking about songwriting prompts last week, and uh, probably the most intense songwriting prompt exercise I've ever had to do was, um, was at this songwriting retreat I took in Yosemite, and we'd climb up from, uh, from, from the, the, the base. We'd send our guitars and packs up on these pack mules, and the cowboys would like take our stuff up, and then we'd climb for like three and a half hours up to about 7,500 feet by Lady Lake in Yosemite. And we'd get there, and then the, uh, the, the guys who were running the songwriting retreat would say, all right, you have an hour. Write a song. Your prompt is, I love what you've done with this place. Go! <laughs> and we'd all like find a bush or a rock or something, and we'd have to write a song. So, um, so this is a song. There, there's probably ten songs out in the universe called I Love What You've Done With This Place. This is mine, and it was written in an hour in Yosemite. When he comes back, I think I'll play real cool. Say something like, hey Jesus, I love what you've done in this place. He'll roll his eyes the way that only he can. Say this is not the time or place for jokes. People ask themselves what they think I'd do, what they think I'd drive to work. They don't ask themselves what my job would be. Who my boss would be Did I earn my raise this year And then he looked at me real serious And say, just tell me how you make it through the day And I'd say, praise no devil And I fear no God And I don't watch the news anymore Jesus stared at me and looked like he was gonna spit, looked like he was gonna curse at the sky. He collected himself, left the tip and paid the bill, left enough to make the waitress smile. He said, listen close, I'll tell you what you've gotta do, and as he spoke, a train went rattling by. Now I'll never know exactly what he Said, I just try each day to do a decent thing or two And then he'd look at me real serious And say, just tell me how you make it through the day And I'd say, praise no devil, I fear no God I don't watch the news 